Hello, and welcome back to our Curse Plays, Escape from Tarkov, single player. Now, let's go ahead and check, see what's on Loot Island there. Alright, so, we're here to do Lend Lease for Skier. Now, this is quite uh, an involved quest. Thought that was a guy right there. Man, so much stuff is popping in. Okay, so we have to go to a couple of places. The first being so first and foremost, we need to go to uh, two maps, I believe. We have to go to woods, and we have to go, uh, and we have to do shoreline. But, uh, there's two places on shoreline that I have to hit, and one of them is up here. The other one isn't so bad, but the first one is the, uh, is the resort. I have actually you know, brought a snack pack with me because, uh, oh man, last time. I also noticed going through a quest from last time that while I was under the effects of, those mor of the morphine painkiller effect, I got four of like the 12 or 15 scab kills under the effects of drugs I needed for a Jaeger quest. So that quest really isn't as hard as it seemed. So I'm going to give that one a while, especially with the amount of uh, morphine that I find, even though it's worth like 15k to sell. With the amount of morphine that I tend to find, like, it'd be worth just popping it. Gotta watch out for there, because Sanitar can spawn in there. That can get over here, put some... If Sanitar was there, I'd be dead. Because his guards have Raider AI, which means they're gonna shoot you in the head, basically, as soon as they see you. It seems like, uh, what the difficulties do is, I don't think it actually changes, like, the reaction time or the AI behaviors of the AI. Or, you know, the behaviors of the AI. Bleh. Redundant speaking there. Uh, what I think... The only thing I think it does, it changes what kind of gear uh, everybody spawns with. So, like... I don't like being here. Just need to go around this place. I don't want to get into unnecessary conflict, so to speak. I don't have the money really to replace my gear. I mean, I kind of do. So when I logged in to start, uh, my Bitcoin farm had finished a Bitcoin. So that's easily like 130k. Uh, I did sell a ton of stuff. Gipka. That's one. There's more than one. Okay, I found him. So he's down. Need to get in this fence. This fence is being an effective barrier right now.
That's what I was waiting for. Okay, so that's all looting experience there. That was the point of that. So we'll get that experience regardless as to whether or not we make it through the raid. Desk around, so those are new. I'm actually going to need some of that soon. We'll keep the rest of this stuff because it's a uh, three point. 6-6 six, six, Gasco. I mean, I'll sell it. Um. Ooh. I'll use this up to heal us. Quest is going to require us to find one of these in a raid, so. I have been taking the time to check upcoming quest type uh, deals. Hey, dorm room 308. the key. Let me check see what keys I need. I need East Wing 306 and West Wing 216. I don't have West 216. I have 306. I can get that. So. Okay. Three oh eight, uh, dorm room key three oh eight is an alternate way into the room I need to go. Maybe I can get lucky and get the key and raid. I mean, I'm not opposed to coming back to Shoreline. I like Shoreline. Not taking that or that. Although I could do that thing. I'll do that thing. I don't actually plan on taking their weapons, so just those will weigh me down too much. save my uh, my weapon slots and we save that weight for like PMC weapons. Hey. 
way. More slickers, I like that. Hey, oh, that sells for a bit. Another car. I'm not gonna take all that stuff. Okay, so we need to get into East Wing 306 or East Wing 308. Carrying an awful lot of medical. I'm thinking that maybe I can just work on the, uh, you know, kill PMCs while under the effects of drugs just by shooting myself up with that morphine as I cross through here. I think I'll do that, actually. Chances are pretty high I'm going to run into some enemies here. See, because I have so many keys, I just assumed I would have both keys, when in reality I only had one of the three possible keys that I could use. That's got to be something good. They can see the light. They didn't respond until I shined it. They are shooting at me. That's PMC. have much on you. And your ammo's crap. Your helmet's really the thing worth keeping. Saw one go around there. No blue key card. I'm beginning to think it doesn't spawn there. Ah, you better believe it. Believe it. Ah.
Trzymaj kiepko! Ach ty hier jebuci! Ono Bleed, heavy bleed. Kylock, go. That's one. I know there's another. my armor. Ooh. Pretty banged up. as good as we're going to be. Saw nothing. Awesome. That's another one. Full shot rounds. Just what the doctor ordered. Okay, so let's use up all of our drink that we brought. I don't like the sounds of that. That sounds like rogue bosses. I don't like that. I need to get into. East wing 306 or 308. So, top floor.
So these two rooms here, each of them has a key, however, they're joined by, uh, they're joined by a balcony. Skull ring. Wow. No. Damn it, soap. Out of my inventory. So the thing I'm looking for is out here. It's right here. So we've got that. in seeing if ye oldie graphics cards. There's another computer on the desk. continue heading this way. So we can go downstairs. We can actually hit a lot more of these rooms because I have keys. to like that ammo. No, I'm on the third floor. I should not try to Superman dive there. I will likely die. I'm just trying to get looting experience now. And also exploring a little bit more thoroughly here. That's the March room next door. Yeah. Fucking cultists, man. What are they even up to? We have to like look up like a uh, like a lore video or something. Like, what is up with the cult here? Like, what do they believe in, and what is it they're doing? Squash, apple juice. I mean, I mean, there's no reason not to, man, right? So I'm no longer. 
longer under the effects of uh, the pain of the. Uh... Nice. It's all nice finds here. I have a profan. I have a profan. I will choose you. Car. Get out of here for that. Screwdriver. I'll take the splint. answer kind of like an age-old question that uh, we've had, it does really seem like the, uh, the AI does react to flashlights. They can see your flashlights. I guess now it's just lasers that's, uh, that nobody really knows. Looking for injectors. Good finds. I uh, can't jump out of there. It's too bad there's no easy hole in the wall on this side. Stamp it on back. I was trying to see if I could just run through the uh, run through the window. Nope. Let's do stamina break in this stairwell real quick. And then we'll get out of here. How much time we got? 16 minutes. 16 minutes to make it to the road to customs. I don't even know where Railway Bridge is. I'll have to look that up at some point. Now we're only just barely draining stamina. Okay, at least this one has a ramp I can easily get up and over. I don't feel that, because I'm moving okay, at an okay pace, I don't really feel the need to sprint. Okay, so. Still need to come back one more time. All right, so let's check the map. All right, so we need to head up on over to uh, the big uh, 5G tower. I was planning on hitting that anyway. And then we need to go directly south, or what would be south on the map. I was told that you brings up the compass. However, I seem to have unbound it because uh, when I was going through this game, I actually unbound a ton of keys so that I wouldn't accidentally do that. So like there actually is a, it used to be if you held control and like 
press like W or whatever, like your character would like hold your gun up so you could like shoot over cover, stuff like that. Um, I don't use that function and I don't really see a use for it, even though a lot of the a lot of the top players do it for um, for PvP. But uh it's just I'm not playing PvP here, so you know, and plus, you know, the way I was trained in the military, I always want positive ID on whatever I'm shooting at, so unless I know someone's going to be really, really close, like uh, some of those scabs up there, unless I, or the, uh, or that, um, that PMC, like, I'm going to let them come really, really close where I can't miss, because if you aim down the sights, sometimes you get so disoriented. So there are times when to hip fire and times when to aim down the sights, I like that. But uh, generally, when I engage enemies, um, if it's at a decent enough range, I want to be aiming down the sights. It's just how I like to play. I feel it's a little bit more tactical. And I would throw Tarkov into that category of tactical shooters. It's nice to have like these lulls where I can just talk and not be too interrupted about what's going on. Because when I'm up there, I was really quiet because... In general, I'm trying to listen, and if I'm talking, I'm not listening. So, there's going to be a box in the middle of the woods south of here. And in that box is another one of our quest items. Now, there's another quest item back up in the uh, the west wing, but I didn't bring the key for that. I, don't, I either don't have or didn't bring it. So... Go check here because usually some good loot spawns over here and I'm here for that okay no good loot there there's also a, a thing that we can get I feel like we have plenty of time that's right it's on this side Directly south from here, ish. There's a cart. This cart used to be. I, this cart is either an extract for scavs or it used to be a spawn point for scavs. So it's a little bit into the woods. If I've gone to the rocks, I've gone too far. There's a, there's a better way to do this. Okay. It says the cart will act for the starting point for finding the box. Standing on top. Compass heading is 170. Box with the radar station in the background. Or with the phone station in the background, which I wish I could see that. So here's the cart.
So it's this way. face away from the radar station. Oh, I was heading in the wrong direction. It's in this direction. somewhere. There. Finally. Okay. That was quite a little adventure. I would have never found that. I was going off too much in the wrong direction. Got more than enough time to just get to the uh, extract. It's right over here. <laughs> My character's gonna be tired, but I don't care. like to like but probably between this episode and next I'm gonna look up the uh, the lore of the cult and uh, then maybe bring you some of that lore next time because it's kind of interesting I wonder if it's flushed out another bit of like interesting trivia about like escape from Tarkov is that the world that it takes place in is actually like the third game that Battlestate Games has made that takes place in this world, uh, in this continuity. So uh, the story in lore of Tarkov is actually kind of deeper uh, than even what's in this game. I mean, it's still kind of like, you know, modern military contractor politics, which there's not a lot you can do differently there. Oh, good 4,000 XP. That raid took a while. Five scabs and a bear. Crawling up to level three. All right, heal everything.
pull everything out of here. Meds get kept. I don't think I need salt for anything. Level six here is just a wee scav. Go. Oh, not this one, this one. I'll actually sell that to put this three out of three in here. Good, good. Keep all keep all that full. Up some rubles, new dorm key. That'll go in the Yoli documents case. Okay, so that one was room 308. Oh, dorm 308, so that's a customs key. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we have that one. That one gets sold. Storm 103, I saw we had that one too. We'll just throw, uh, throw those rounds we found directly into here. Sell this splint, keep the fresh one. What are you? You are 9 by 39. That is armor piercing. You go in there. Plenty of F1 grenades. Clint needs to be... I don't think... We need a gold skull ring for collector, but I'm gonna check. Nope, we just need those for the scab case. We can trade a bunch of them for plate carriers, but trading, they don't have to be found or raid, so that one can get sold. Keep this stuff. Flechette round. So we have flechettes for our uh, our shotgun once again. There we go. And this Thor body armor has seen better days. This is a pretty nice helmet, but I think it'll sell for quite a bit. This is the uh, the fast MT. So this is the level four helmet. Uh, I don't like taking these off. Yep, for that exact reason, it's gone. Let me take the ears off of it. We're going to keep this helmet, actually. still. But however, you know what it doesn't have? It doesn't have one of these. I guess we're not going to keep this. We're going to sell it. Oh, I wish I hadn't have lost the, the faceplate though. Okay, so these I believe we're keeping to make something. Alright, so, Bitcoin bomb. One of three Bitcoins, and also, I wish I could turn the generator on, but, uh, but, uh, 
so we've got our... I filled that up. So, between last episode and this one, I went through the scab case again. I got rid of everything that does not need to be found in Raid. So, stuff that's in here for uh, upgrades to the hideout, because I can just buy those. Um, because I can just buy that stuff. I just went ahead and sold all of it just to get the money that we needed now. Um, I do have enough gold chains for the quest uh, to turn that in, so there's nine of them here. And everything else in here, like right now, there's like a bunch of stuff here. Uh, that's for uh, upgrading the generator as soon as we hit 30. So I don't have to worry about like, oh, I don't have enough money to get generator 3. Um, everything I need for that upgrade is already in here. Everything else is stuff that needs to be found a grade for the collector quest or quest coming up, that sort of thing. So I got rid of a bunch of that stuff. Uh, we can make bitcoins over time, so I'm going to sell bitcoins. I also sold uh, all but a fountain raid GP coin. I'm really low on rubles. So, like, and then I used all that money uh, to buy. Uh, everything I needed for this upgrade, and then I got, I filled out the full 10 uh, graphics cards. So. Exit customs versus two dorms. Yeah, good joke. Okay, so, therapist. We're going to sell to you, and you're going to take quite a bit of this stuff. Therapist is the only one that you can sell Bitcoin to. 291k. So are those earphones. Alright, mechanic, you won't take this? You will. I just missed you. Gotcha. There we go. Back up to 400k. No problem. Piece of cake. Med station, we like the, uh, we like these. So, yeah. Yeah, we can immediately just make a, another one. So, I just have to buy a cat. Rapper sells those. So, what I found is this. This is better than the Salova because uh, the cost of stop bleeding, it's five less. It has the same amount of uh, health on it, 400. Uh, it has that, uh, but it takes up less space, so I can fit more things in here. So I can take this out, and let's find the key that I need. This sounds like a skier quest. Okay, so I need West 216. Oh wow, that's expensive. But you know what? I have dollar reduce. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna put that in here. 
So we can bring our splint back down in here. Okay. Um, it's just always useful now to just carry spare uh, spare food. I found that these get pinned because you can very accidentally uh, hit them. Okay, so. Let's turn that in, turn that in. So, the other one I didn't get on shoreline is the gyroscope, and I do also need uh, to go to woods as well. But uh, this will actually be like really, really good for us because this is worth five for skier. Uh, 17k XP, which is going to be great. Plus whatever like XP we get in the raids itself. So if we go to our character. Vitality is getting trained little by little, so stress resistance. Memory is making its way up there on its own. But uh, 17k out of 46, uh, that's going to bring us like to 29k. I feel like where we should invest our money right now is in what happens after generator 3. Oh. No fuel situation. So we've got that. So generator three. I believe is what's stopping workbench three. Okay, that's not stopping workbench three. But I do feel like I should uh, prepare by getting this stuff because as soon as we hit mechanic three. Uh, the floodgates open. So let's get one of these not found in raid. So I can get two of these. Now you might wonder uh, why am I uh, why am I picking a lot of this stuff up even if I have it already? So I need a pliers elite as like a reusable item in the workbench and the fire clean gun loot. The one I have is found in Raid, and I don't want to use that for this. So, I bought another one. It's going to use the non-founded Raid one first. Now I'm going to spend some of our dollars and some of our euros, if possible, for stuff. So as soon as we hit 30, we can get Workbench 3 going. We can get... Generator three going. So I'm going to try to buy things with dollars as much as possible. space is dependent on generator. Ah, I don't have enough money. Oh, wow, those are expensive. Okay, so we're going to skip over that rest space. Um, 
This one's going to be super expensive. I can already tell you that one. It's all just set This one will be super expensive as well. So we need to get more money, obviously. Okay, let's stop. Ah, uh, stop that stuff. Alright. So what are we going to do next time? Oh, actually, let's check fence. Fence might have some stuff we've never seen before. Mm, better armor. Better armor that I can afford. Change movement speed. Oh, man, I remember wearing this. The only thing that this model is missing is uh, there's a, I believe I've mentioned it before, there's a, like, a little flap that, it's uh, so, like this sits at about waist height on you. There's a little flap that, uh, it's level 2 ballistic, I believe, so it's, like, rated for pistol rounds and stuff, but it's mostly also for shrapnel, and this is, and it covers, like, your, uh, lower back area, lower back, upper butt, and it, uh, and it's flexible, so, like, you can sit and that sort of thing. Uh, talking IRL about this armor kit, um, I hate the butterfly wings. I hated them. Uh, when I was overseas, uh, the way our unit uh, used these is uh, only the gunners had to wear them uh, in our vehicles uh, because our vehicles didn't have the cool crow system. So, like, we actually had a guy sticking out the top of the vehicle. Like, yeah, he had a turret around him, but it was more likely that he would get shrapnel. So, uh, our gunners had to wear these, so consequently I had to wear these. Um, but whenever I wasn't a gunner, because we would uh, swap out uh, between myself and my A gunner, or my assistant gunner, so so that we could both stay sharp, uh, we would swap out. So whenever I wasn't the gunner, I could just take these off. And because these, like, get in the way of your arm movements. When you wear these things, man, you can't touch, you know, you can't touch, like, over here. So, also on mine, we didn't have these D-rings. I don't know why they added these. I wonder if this is actually... Like, it says IOTV Gen 4. I wonder if I had a different generation. But, uh... The thing is, is that this thing here is actually a pull strap. And you pull that, and, uh... When you pull it out, there's actually a, uh... Like a little, like, braided steel cable that goes throughout here. And when you pull that out, the whole armor set falls apart. So that if somebody has, like, say, a wound in here that the medic uh, needs to get into or something, uh, the medic can just, uh, you know, pull that to pull the body armor off real easy. These are also pouches for plates. Uh, we preferred bigger plates in ours if we could get them, uh, simply to get the plate to go up higher into our, um, into our uh, armpit. Uh, because, like, going side-on, this is a big, big weakness. Which is why when they taught us to shoot, they taught us to shoot by squaring up with the enemy. Whereas prior to the advent of body armor, you wanted to, you know, present your side to the enemy with the rifle trying to go across you to make yourself as slim a target as possible. But however, with modern body armor, um, it opened up this weakness in the body armor. And these things here, these things are level 2 uh, rated. So somebody's shooting at you with a rifle, it's going to go through this. going to go through your arm and going to go into your chest cavity. So uh, we were taught to square up uh, with the enemy to prevent uh, to present this armor plate. Even if it made us a bigger target. 
because the armor plate was approximately from here to down-ish here. It depends on how big of a plate you could get. Uh, once again, in my unit, if we could get bigger plates, we would go for them. Uh, that's just kind of how we operated. Because uh, we were um, a heavy combat engineer unit. We weren't a light unit, so... And now it's disappeared from in here. But uh, we weren't a light unit, so like we spent a lot of our time mounted. We didn't do a shit ton of foot patrols. We did a couple, but they were short range. I'm talking like you know, away from the vehicles for like an hour, not like multi-hour walks. So we would go out on patrol in our vehicles and uh, mostly be riding. So uh, we preferred heavier armor for ourselves when we could get it. It's too bad that this, I spoke for so long at this, uh, that this, nope, it's still right here. movement speed, basically 30% movement speed. Man, I want I want something that doesn't give me that huge movement speed, but I want it to cover um, this one covers arms. I want one that covers arms. Because arms is the new meta. Oh, yeah. Another thing I got into. You may have seen it. So I should probably work on this. So I'm work because we have all this uh, 762 by 39 BP. I figured I'll put together a 762 by 39 uh, AKM. So I did the preset while I was um, I did the preset while I was uh, you know offline, so to speak. So there's a couple of things for this I still need to get. So let's go to uh, edit preset, open. So something that I wish was that the game did not have a stock preset for every single um, weapon. So I have to scroll through here to find the AK-104. Uh, the AK-104 is basically a short barrel version of the AK-103, uh, which is more of a modernized AKM. So I named it best AK, so let's open it up and let's take a look at it. So this is what I went with. And believe you me, I went through every single part for all of these areas uh, to come up with what would be statistically uh, the best gun I could come up with. And by the way, this grip here uh, for the AKs, this is the downright best pistol grip in the game. So, well, for the AKs anyway because it has the highest ergonomics and it has no drawbacks. So like it's outright better than everything else even though it looks stupid. And I chose these Gen 3 mags because they had an unload load speed modifier. So they have a reload speed uh, modifier. They have a low failure to feed uh, and also they hit your ergonomics the least. So this should be a handy little rifle. So I need to get the gas system and the rail system as well as the things attached to the gas station, uh, system and the rail system. So uh, let's go with find parts and let's go with owner type traders. Let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of operational only. Okay, so I need a gas tube. Okay, I need the hand guard. I need this foregrip. Hmm. Why can't I find the, uh, the like flashlight? So let's get this on here. I specifically left sights off uh, because that's going to be real personal preference. Um, set, and now I have to find it in here. 
uh, this would be a much better system if they didn't have like the uh, every single gun in the game, you know, every single different one with the stock preset. Filter by item, here it is. And this, there's a tactical. There it is. I'm going to put that underneath. So this thing should be a combination, um, a combination light, laser, and IR light. So let's load up a mag. I also purchased three of these mags for it. I know it's been a long episode, everybody. Uh, let's just get a, a site for it. Um, let's go with the, this one. I mean, I'll try it up there. We'll, we'll see how it goes, having that up further. So let's go into our hideout. That's, that's difficult to control. Let's turn on the light. The light's bright, but it's not too bright. Oh, so it does have an... That's a straight IR laser. Nice. wonder what the difference is here. Oh, I see what the difference is. Okay, so... This is just the IR laser. This also has an IR uh, flashlight on it. That's what that is. So, in a darker area... And it's really hard to show it here. Uh, but the way night vision works is... Uh, night vision amplifies ambient light. So, if there's no light in a place, then uh, the night vision does nothing. Um, so, what you would do is you bring like a PEC, uh, PEC 15 or something like that, or PEC 2, and uh, that has an IR flashlight on it, or you would put an IR filter over your flashlight, and you would turn that on, and uh, it would emit an IR light that, unless somebody else had NVGs, they wouldn't be able to see. And that would allow you to use your night vision uh, in areas and in lighting conditions where it normally wouldn't be. Okay, so that's cool. I'm glad I picked this light. Okay, so I don't really like the positioning of this sight on here. And try and control it uh, full auto. Let's pull it back to see if it's easier to control. Okay, I can keep it on a man-sized target, that's good enough. I don't want to put it out there at long range. Alright. So we've got a new little, 
new little toy to play with. And become nice and small. Okay, so thank you for watching. This is Arcurus, signing off.